Secret has been sponsoring us as a bloggers to distract and the color what he's doing. I must tell you the truth because I told him where I come from, we don't collect bribe. I come from Aruchuku, we don't collect bribe. I told him. He said that he's going to be sponsoring us so that we can be able to be distracting and the color so that we abandon the broadcast and the radio Biafra so that it will be distract. We will be confused what to do. We started sponsoring paying many of bloggers money so that they will be creating fake accounts on Facebook. That is why you see many people, both women and men, started blogging, doing fake accounts. Some of them, they blog all about their series, all about him and the Carlo. That was what they was doing. But can you imagine that you cannot know that these issues were sponsored by an individual? That is why you see the issue was much going on on it. I must assure you that I told him that I will never collect the bribe. That is why you see the time. And if you want to notice the truth, what I'm telling you, that I refuse is the time that I, I started posting the saboteurs, giving them feeding, feeding bottle. Number one, I give Parara feeding bottle. He sponsored Parara. He was paying Parara to make sure he, he, that he, he brings the image of him and the color down. He castigates him and the color. I give, you take my name, Iketes Foundation. You will see the truth, what I'm telling you. I am here to tell you that I write the name Iketes Foundation down. I give uh, Parara mock news. Feeling bottle, I give uh, these uh, Ohanes and Bibo also feeling bottle. We see them on Facebook. Just go to my page, you will confirm the truth. What I'm telling you now, these are the people that I was sponsoring. And you see, the another one in talking, many of my friends he was sending them money so that I will be distracting and the call not to preach what he's preaching on. Biafra, Radio Biafra, but I'm here to tell you, do you see that all those people that create fake accounts attacking and they can attacking about everything Biafra, it was sponsoring through Ichemofo so that you will not take over. See, let me tell you, Ichemofo, I am going to bring out many evidence. If you do see this video, just share him. If you see this, my face, you will know that yes, this person. I have did something with him, but this person said no. Just ask Uchemofo if he can come out and defend himself. I'm not hiding my face. Uchemofo knows me very well. He communicates as a blogger. He tells me what to do to do on internet so that I will distract him. Even many people that are broadcasting about their fans. But I told them that no, I cannot do such and I will never do such. I can never do such. He sponsored bloggers to distract him and the color. Why is he on the seat with him? He was a deputy leader. The time he did all these things, the time he was sponsoring bloggers to distract him and the color to create many accounts. You see many women, many young men, many boys and girls, they are creating Facebook accounts fake under the name of IPOP. Do you think that this thing came from here? It was sponsored by HMO4. Confirm my truth. They have confronted Nandikali how many times and the lawyer of Nandikali in Nigeria to, to, to stop the agitation of Biafra. But Nandikali told him that he is never going to stop. That is why that is where the problem started. As in and the call, you can as in you can be a witness, but I'm here to tell you I'm going to bring many evidence so that you people will believe me. If you see this video, share it so that when you see it, let him come out and attack me and also know that I am saying the truth. I can never lie and I'm here to bring many evidence about the term of secret. Why he come out and that man is a useless man. What do you know that is coming to talk? Him that carry water in his mouth, carry speech, talking 
what you know that Ute Mafa is coming to talk? He's not coming to talk anything. He's a foolish man, but he don't know where he's going. He's going to end. See, that Nigeria is thinking that he's going to collect money. He's about to travel to Nigeria to go and receive money. Let him go. He's going to end up that place. I don't have much to tell you, but I have much to bring out about Ute Mafa. If you see this video, share it because I'm about to bring out many secrets about each other. I believe that there are the prominent stakeholders in IPOB and say move out, begin to castigate him, tell him, well, if something happened at all people, you couldn't do anything and those people are dying. Nobody is helping them. Nobody is contributing to their welfare. Look at that. They want to blame him and make him look inconsequential. And our leader will keep quiet. I was looking at this man, three men yesterday. I never knew that Professor Okado can go to this level. I'm sorry. He wished me Merry Christmas, but I, I responded to him. I am polite and very, you know, advanced in what I'm doing. He wished me Merry Christmas. I wished him back Merry Christmas. But I cannot believe that he would be in the midst of this confused man that did not want to follow the agenda of God. God does not give instruction to two people, conflicting instruction to two people at the same time. I can tell you, I can tell us that God in his mannerism cannot give two people different instruction and they will be killing each other. Unless he want to cause confusion in the camp of the enemy, he will do that. But in this camp that our leader is leading, Mazen Nambekano, God will not do that. Because there are men and women of God in this very project, in this movement. So anything that I'm saying that is not correct, they are free to communicate to me. So this man did not understand the handwriting. And they said, well, we don't understand because they were induced, they were paid, hired to do this. And the zoo, before, earlier before their manifestation openly, they said, we have, we have designated 670 million or billion to, to jam the network of IPOB. That fellow, uh, I showed them and the money was deposited in escrow account. So when you carry out what we are telling you, we will release some part to you. When, when you do this, we will release some part to you. And those people doing it have relatives in Nigerian government. And that's what they're doing. Because they didn't understand. Finally, I want to show Biafra who is writing. Because we are looking at the writing, but we don't know who is writing. Sometimes God is a God of, I mean, God is a God of orderliness. God we allow, he has, he set, he set out orders, rules, and regulation to govern what he's doing. He is not God that disorganizes himself. He's not. He's a God of orderliness. God of orderliness. That is who, that is who he is. God that goes with order. He does things in, in, in super. He can't just wake up and start doing things without being, you know, guided. I want, to, I want us to look at something here. There is something I want us to see. Who is writing, making all this writing, and, and was keeping quiet. I want to show us the person writing this. <laughs> God, God has ways of manifesting his glory. God has ways of manifesting his glory. If you can turn with me, finally, to the book of John chapter 8. The book of John chapter 8. I will read from verse 6. The book of John chapter 8, finally. Glory be to God. I want to show us the person writing. They said, this they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. Let us go back to, to verse 5. Or let me let me start let me start from uh, verse 3. The scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Tisha, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. We captured her in the act. <laughs> Now, Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned to death. But what, I, what do you say? This they said, testing him. It was a test that they might have something 
of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear them. He pretended not to have had them and began to write on the ground. <laughs> you see that the person has, who has been writing in the Old Testament is the one that is writing in the New Testament. In the book of John chapter 1, I want to take us there, please. In the book of John chapter 1, if you miss this, you miss all. In the book of John chapter 1, is a popular scripture that every every Itiborico can be able to remember. The book of John chapter 1. I will, I will read. Some I don't want to read it off head, but I can read I can read it. I just want to read it from the scripture. He said, In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word, and the word in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. The darkness, the darkness of Nigeria could not understand what Mazin Namdekanu is doing. The darkness covering the eyes of the rulers of Nigeria cannot understand what IPOB is telling them. He said, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through him. And the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right. Some versions say, some certain tra uh, translations say, as many as, that, as many that received him, to them he gave power to become children of God. The ability to be a child of Elohim, a member of IPOB, is Elohim that will give you the power, give you the understanding to become a child of God, a member of IPOB, where light dwells. So you can see, it is God that calls you to come and join the family. If God did not call you, you will be speaking from both sides of your mouth. You can be even in the midst of the children of light, but still you are operating in darkness because your heart has have not your heart have not received the light, the enlightening of God, the ability to see. If you cannot see, you will begin to criticize, you will begin to blackmail, you will begin to speak from a different tongue. That is what we see going on all over internet. They pay them to speak against, against the leader of IPOB, the man sent by God to deliver his people, who gave up everything. He gave his pleasure, gave his intimacy, gave up the wife for a while to go and speak and deliver his people to speak to the power that be in the zoo. Left, left the wife with pre un, under pregnancy left. How many of us can do it? Even began to sponsor this thing with his resources. How many of us can do it? None of us. I am about to wrap up so that you can. I can give our uh, our brother the host the opportunity to do the the rest. Now, in the, in the same book of John chapter eight, the same book of John chapter eight, he wrote. I want to show us what he did there. What he wrote to them, because somebody will say to me. Rabbi, what did he write on the ground? Why couldn't he speak to them? Why couldn't he just open his mouth and tell them something? He wrote on the ground as though he did not hear them. So when they looked on the ground, they read what he wrote. These men could read. They are Pharisees. They are learned men. So he didn't want to talk to them to avoid confrontation, verbal confrontation. God has his mannerism. He understands our hearts. So he wrote to those men that came. He said to them, before you killed, because they came with stones. And when the people of that period, of that dispensation, laid their hands on stone, they will certainly unleash that stone. I've told us before. Some, some, um, 
Some people wrote, some, uh, some people interpreted it in a different way. Say, he, he, he wrote to them, uh, drop the stone and leave. <laughs> he wrote to them. He said, if you know, you haven't seen, cast the stone first. He said to them, when he wrote on the ground, he said, so when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, he who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again, he stood down and wrote on the ground again. You see, he spoke to them. Say, if you know, you don't have sin. Cast the stone first. Then he went and said, look at me, I'm writing. You know what he wrote there? Do you know what he wrote there, Biafra? He said, before you cast a stone, look at your back. That's what he told them. These people, if they decide to stone anybody, is still practicing is still being practiced in some places in Middle East, even some Islamic world. When they lay hands on their stones, they're gonna unleash it. They will stop. If you tell them to stop, they will say, Oh, you are part of it, they will even stone the person. So when he said to them, Before you cast a stone, if you know that you have not committed sin, he didn't say if you have if you have not committed adultery, every sin is sin before God, fornication, adultery. Theft, wickedness, mischief, covetousness, envy, pride, jealousy. They are all in the family of sin. Iniquity. He said, now throw the stone first. Cast the stone. But look at your back. So when they looked at their back, they saw angelic beings. That's what those men saw. They saw angelic beings. So you can see that God is confrontational sometimes. They saw angelic beings with rock. Raise the rock up on them. They became like ants before the angelic beings. They were massively tall, huge, with rocks. And all of them began to drop the stones down there and walked away. That's what that was the one of the miracles Yeshua Hamashiach performed. They saw God, he opened their eyes, and they saw legions of angels with stones there, rocks. Say, if you do, we will bury you here. Nigeria is seeing that handwriting now. Nigeria saw legions of soldiers, legions of men, able bodied men, and said, Our leader now spoke and said to them, Come and kill again. Any Biafra you kill, we will be meted with different, with the same response. If you kill any Biafran, we will go for you. If you murder anybody in Biafran land, we will unleash mayhem to you. He wasn't bluffing. He wasn't cajoling. He was serious. That was what Elohim said. That was what he did. He saw them legions of angelic beings carrying rocks, not stones. Those men were having stones in their hands, but the angels were having rocks. They were about to bury them there. And they saw the, the, the magnitude of what was going to happen to them. They dropped their stones and walked away. You see, why is Nigeria now talking differently? They, they armed them with AK-47. And they were coming to Biafra land. Every time they will come, they will shoot everybody. Shoot anyone they can shoot. Kill anyone they can kill. Our leader was putting restraining order. He was... Showing restraining, you know, so putting up restraining order not to respond to them at their at the same level or at the same equilibrium with them. He was warning them, telling them, when we start, every living thing in the zoo will die. Did you think do you guys think you were joking? Do you know how many scientists that are with our leader? Let me give you clue. Anoma, Ano Anoma. Let me give you guys clue. Do you know how many scientists that are with him? Home and abroad. Do you know how many scientists that are with him that have done the needful waiting for you guys? Do you know? Governors of Southeast, do you know, including UK, do you know that you can be taken out just easily if you want? Our leader gave you warning, gave you word. Do you know how many scientists that are with him? Don't look at as a wee Do not because you saw that made you people to be talking. He, he, they are not registered. They are. They have to go to the constitution and legalize them. Amoteku was legalized. You are animal, hopeless people. 
Do you know those angels carrying rock? Tell me where they legalize them. Elohim, Yeshua Hamachia, gave them ability, say, rock them down. And they were there. Those men dropped every weapon and left. And you are talking today. And that is where I am drawing the conclusion now. That this man, you saw able bodied men and women. You saw locusts. You saw them dressed with security regalia. So you saw what they are having. You thought you have seen all. Do you know that our leader, Mazin Nandekano, I can tell you, he's, he's, he's the most powerful man in Africa now. He is the most powerful man in Africa. It is not Uyobia, no? It is not Nyawodo. It is not Ratu Wazurike. It is not, it is not Uwani. Uh, it is not uh, uh, also hopeless also Dimba. It is not even Unike. It is not Ifan Yokowa. Our leader is the most powerful man in Africa. Take it or leave it. Hot or cold, he is. He showed restraining order. He didn't want to respond to you guys. I can tell you, I can tell you by the spirit of Elohim, if you want to come and capture you in, your, in that your state house where you think you are hiding, it will take him seconds to do it. If you want to rock southeast down, I can assure you it will take these guys just a couple of hours to do the job.